number six, we have Halloween Ends coming out October 14, 2022. And this is the Halloween that's going to end it all with Michael Myers. Uh, so we saw Halloween Kills uh, last year, 2021. Whack. And, and so maybe this time, uh, Laurie Strode is actually going to be able to do something. I don't know. Is this supposed to take place it like a is, year yeah. after? No, it's four years after. Oh, four years. Yeah, they, that was 2018, right? So now it's going to be 2022. Oh, so it's like those were back to back. Yes. So that was and now this one is 2022. Modern day. Okay. Yeah. So that'll give time for Lori to grieve her her daughter. Oh, okay. yeah, she Spoiler. died. Spoiler. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought that I was mean, fake. I thought that was like a flash, like a fake hour or something. So what's Michael been doing this whole time? I guess hopefully they'll explain something. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe he just fucking took over the whole fucking country at that point. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be exciting. Yeah. Definitely I'm a, entertaining. I'm a huge uh, Michael Myers fanboy. I mm. love even like the worst freaking Halloween movies. Okay, I don't love them, but I only enjoy because <laughs> I enjoy fucking like ripping on them or whatever. Well, but tired yeah, no matter what, uh, as long as Michael Myers on screen, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely watch it and be excited for it. And how? like tough and menacing they made him, you know what I mean? Like he is brutal as fuck, especially mm -hmm. Halloween Kills. Mm -hmm. So I just want more of that. Um, I enjoy Halloween this 2018 a little bit better than Kills, but Kills had better kills, so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's better. Yeah, I like them. I, I like the last, the most recent Halloween movies. Mm -hmm. the... You guys think they'll kill Michael off since it's the last one? I think so. They'll have a version of it, I guess, but then if they want to bring him back, 10 years from now or whatever. They will. It'll, it'll be a... Another reboot? Yeah, it'll be another reboot. Fucking another reboot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> it'll be like, the what? The Which, curse the fourth? Continues. Which I'll be fine and those, those will probably suck and then 10 years, 15 years after that, I'll probably reboot it and those will probably be good. Oh my God. Anyone else have thoughts on Halloween ends? Not really. Um, I am going to see it. It is on my top 10, but I didn't like the last one. I mean, it looks like a good Halloween movie for the season. Oh yeah, when does that come out? October? Yep, October 14th. Alright, so let's move on to the next one here. Number five, we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Coming out November 11th, 2022. It's an MCU movie. I really liked the first one. I mean, I didn't think it was like Best Picture nominee worthy, but, um, but I really did like the first Black Panther. And I'm definitely interested and curious to see what they're going to do now that uh, Chadwick Boseman is not going to Play the character i don't know if they're just gonna have hopefully whoever they're gonna replace is someone that you know makes sense to be black panther his sister takes over doesn't she i think i think in the comic she does doesn't she i i heard that she was gonna be the lead in this mm -hmm. that's what i heard too but the thing is with that is when they showed black panther for him to become black panther he had to fight mm -hmm. to get the title right mm -hmm. and you can use your shit you can use like what would uh, what's her name Shuri I guess her name is yeah. what would she use what would she be able to what would she be allowed to use are they just gonna override that requirement to be Black maybe Panther maybe if all the tribes like vote her or something you know what I mean who knows I think as long as no one fight. challenges yeah cause they yeah. all have to fight for it if they <laughs> want it yeah but now that like what the same Mbaku is like on board with everybody and yeah, stuff yeah nobody would challenge her so yeah. yeah, they're all friends now, right? Mm -hmm. All the tribes and stuff. Mm -hmm, pretty much. I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't really like that idea, even though I think it was in the comics. But um, I know what you mean though. It's kind of you don't want them to stray away from two days. From like the point of the whole first movie, where yeah. it's like you have to fight and all, all this shit to get the title of Black Panther. Yeah. So I mean. I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't think I'll like it if, if she's gonna be the lead in this. But I mean, I'm still excited to see what they're gonna do because I'm sure it'll still be at least decent. You know, it's a Black Panther movie, MCU movie. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't know. And then I've been hearing like saying like, oh, they should bring back uh, what's his face um, Michael B. Jordan what? to play uh, to be the new Black Panther. I was like, isn't he dead? That yeah, I'm but, but I know I know it doesn't like it doesn't. It's like I don't think that's a it good has, idea like, either. To do with, like, Plus, <laughs> plus he was like first he was dead yeah. but uh i mean i guess you always find a way to bring people back in the mcu mm -hmm. but 
you know, he was like evil, and it's like, so you're gonna bring him back to be the the king of Wakanda, like like the legitimate one, and we're supposed to root for him. And so it's like that, that's kind of weird. Ivan, I know you liked the first Black Panther movie. Mm-hmm. So your thoughts on this sequel without Chadwick Boseman? Um, I'm definitely watch it, and I might not watch any trailers, so I'll be completely surprised. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm super excited for this movie. I love Black Panther. Um, it's like one of my favorite MC movies. It's definitely up there, like top three. And so this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. And yeah, I'm really interested to see where they go, and I'm really nervous that they don't, they don't like butcher it. But yay! <laughs> Joe, um, I thought the first one was okay. I didn't love it or anything. I am gonna watch this, but I'm not like. Um, super excited for it um i was a big black panther fan i liked the first movie i thought it was very innovative in terms of cinematography like they're gonna have the same director of photography right i would think so i'm not entirely sure i don't see why they wouldn't why they wouldn't use uh, the same one yeah i mean i thought when as i was watching the movie i was like wow this is a very interesting use of camera so. yeah because usually the directors they usually like to use the same um director of photographies um, mm-hmm. Yeah, director of photography, uh, you know, because they like the the style, or you know, so they like to bring the same people back. How about your thoughts on recast or not recasting Chadwick Boseman? Do you think they should have recast mm-hmm. T'Challa, or uh, they should have just um, just completely replaced him? Like, it's not going to be the same character anymore. It'll be another. I like that like, idea of like passing the torch better than like recasting, recasting him. him and acting like it didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they have a whole system yeah. of replacing the Black Panther. You know? yeah. They have this, the technology and the power that they can pass it on. It's not like Batman, you know what I mean? Where Batman's Batman, no one else will be Batman. Black Panther, they have a system to replace the Black Panther. So I'm okay with that. I am just curious to see how they explain yeah. what happened to him. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope that they don't like really try to brush it off early in the movie. It'd be interesting if they can try to... like. I don't know, make it like halfway through before they completely like don't ignore him. You know? Yeah, I, I mean, I would think that this film, if anything, with her his sister being the lead, it sounds like this would be if they do recast him, this would be the transitional movie before they bring in the new one. And I'm thinking maybe they'll have uh, you know T'Challa as Black Panther and like maybe he like heroically dies or something. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but the CGI has gone in Star Wars put in people yeah yeah did they film anything with chadwick before he died no oh nothing hmm. no, no, no. all right so let's move on to the next one here number four we have the flash coming november 4th and that's the flash from dc you know um and it has ezra miller and um how much do you do you know about the flash a little bit or about the movie, I mean, this movie that's coming. Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a teaser? Yeah, I know Not nothing even. about this movie. And it's the same actor as that was played the last time. So you know nothing about what's coming up, what's happening in that movie? No, no not I don't anything. Know anything. Okay. <laughs> well, because I'm going to say something, but if you don't want to know. Oh, it's fine. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, you can totally say it. Well, because you know what? Flash, you know, this Flash movie is about, I think it's like Flashpoint, right? Yeah. It's like a multiverse. Yeah, so it's going to be like, you know, the DC version of like No Way Home, I guess. Multiverse kind of stuff. So then they have... um, Keaton. Michael Keaton, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Who's who's coming back. So that's why why I'm not sure if you knew about that or not. Yeah, I heard about that. But uh, yeah, so, so I'm excited to see Michael Keaton again. Um, I, I think from what I heard, I think he has a significant role. Like he's not like a main character, but it's, he's not a cameo. Mm-hmm. And uh, so maybe, maybe like the way they did with, um, with Toby and Andrew, yeah, in uh, No Way Home. But um, I mean, there hasn't been a Flash solo movie. Um, I did kind of like Flash and the Justice League movie, I guess. So and I do like the story, the, the Flashpoint story, if that's what they're running with. No pun intended. And uh, so I'm excited to see it. So, Joe, your thoughts on the fly? I do want to watch this too, mainly to see uh, Michael Keaton come back. Um, 
and the whole multiverse idea is cool too so definitely gonna watch that one Marie are you a DC fan? I mean I saw Wonder Woman <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I follow too close with DC I mean because I just can't watch 50 million Batman movies with different Batman I just it's kind of like for me it's kind of pushed me away from the DC world but I mean Flash is new I don't think there's many films of him before right right so I mean this sounds interesting not like not a solo movie like this like a this level this scale yeah um, like an actual live action thing just good um, I'm not excited for this movie <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that actor and I'm probably not gonna watch it <laughs> all right